Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and there's a lot happening around the Mills house these days, and I wanted to give you a quick update about a lot of projects that have been happening, some you've already seen, some in process, and some yet to come. So let's take a look. So we'll start over here at the garden. You may remember the Hugo culture bed that's here. Um, got a couple of apple trees that are starting to flower here in Georgia. Um, I've got garlic back here. And last year I didn't plant the garlic in time. I, didn't, I waited until spring. This time I got it in the ground in October when it was supposed to be planted. So I'm excited about how this is looking and how the yields are hopefully gonna be a lot better than they were last year. I've also got some rye um, as a cover crop inter interplanted with the garlic. So um, just nitrogen fixing into the soil and um, once the garlic's pulled, I'll put a top coat of mulch over that and just lock in that nitrogen. Of course, the train's here. Got more garlic and rye here. One more bed of garlic here. And can you believe these three beds came from one order from High Mowing Seed Company of their organic garlic? This stuff tasted great last year and with more growing time, we're gonna have even more garlic for this summer. You'll notice here I've got a worm tower you haven't seen a video on yet. I've shot it, it's coming soon. And this is made out of two pieces of chimney flue pipe called thimbles. And then I've got a layer of brick that forms the perforation um, to let the worms move in and out of this, this worm tower. So the nice thing about this is that it's, there's no adhesive, no nothing, it's just stacked up and completely organic. It was also super easy to build. It's be a nice short DIY video coming up soon. One last garden bed here that's just cover cropped. I've got some rye intermixed with some clover as some good nitrogen fixing cover crop that's gonna be natural mulch. I'm actually reading the book Drawdown right now, or rather I'm listening to it. And one of the things that's high on the list of things that will actually improve our planet over time is using organic fertilizer instead of nitrogen-based chemical fertilizer. Here are two of my PVC worm towers that I've pulled out of the beds until I get them planted. We'll get these run up and running again. Of course, this is my little experimental furnace featured in the How to Heat Your Greenhouse for Free video, which many people are complaining isn't free. Yeah, it's not free. This thing is a little worse for wear, I've gotta say. Um, the last time I tried to light this thing, um, I didn't get a whole lot of smoke out of the chimney, so I'm afraid that my air channel that goes through that bed inside the greenhouse is collapsed. The reality is this is indeed a hack stove, um, a hack furnace, and it really needs to be phased out. So I'm probably gonna end up busting this up and salvaging the fire brick if I can. So here I am down in the Hilgoculture Wallapini greenhouse and you'll notice that there's not a roof between us like there was, and that's because I didn't use UV stabilized plastic. It was something left over from the house that was designed to go underneath the foundation, which of course doesn't see the sunlight. So that plastic broke down, it cracked, and I had to take the roof off. So I have purchased a roll of UV stabilized plastic that's guaranteed to last four years, and that's gonna be going on the top of this greenhouse soon. I haven't done a lot of planting in here yet, just because I'm still relatively unfamiliar as a gardener. I know you're not surprised, but I will say this. The kale actually made it through the winter. Not that we've had a cold winter, but the kale that got eaten down to the stems grew back and is actually ready to harvest. Got some rye planted in here as well. Another element of preparation here in the greenhouse is that I'm putting in a gravel floor. I did lower the floor just a little bit so that I could add the gravel up. I also sloped it in this direction to put the sump over near that end so I can scoop the water out over on this end by the stairs. I'm in the process of putting in a bucket there in the ground 
with some gravel around it and that'll be a way for me to easily get the water out. There'll also be a spot where I can drop a siphon in and, and siphon this thing out. Also got some nice moss growing on the walls here as well. Next thing I wanna show you is right here outside the greenhouse. And it doesn't look like much right now. But you may remember me talking about making a keyhole garden here. And so I've started preparing this area with a burn pile. I've been burning only the smallest scraps of wood left over from my house project. And of course, none of these are treated wood. And I'm dousing those fires with water so that I end up with biochar instead of letting this go all the way to ash. The keyhole garden is gonna be made using concrete screen and some reused silt fence. I'll be doing a video on that soon. I've also got a pile right over here of some wood and um, stuff that came out of the compost bin. And this stuff will be also used in the building of the keyhole garden. Here we are on rocket stove row. Someone was giving me a hard time in the comments that all I knew how to make on my rocket stove was boiled eggs. Well, my plan is to remedy that. I'm working on several more recipes of great stuff you can make using found fuel right in your backyard on a rocket stove. Of course, we'll be featuring all the stoves here on rocket stove row. Including the Rocket King, which of course you've seen videos on my channel about that recently. Of course, this is stove that I now have in production on Amazon if you're interested. I'm finally learning how to make bread so you'll see more of the bread oven in action and in fact Clayton next door and I are going to do a big bake here coming up soon. Probably a live stream, maybe not, we'll see how that goes. But uh, one thing we left out in the last one was actually tasting some bread so we will make sure that we are able to sample some bread for you live on camera. Of course the pizza oven is mid-process here, it's still curing and then I have the last few elements to add a little bit of tile work on the front, on the sides and then adding in the, the big slab of granite for the hearth. Of course here I am in Rocket King production headquarters where I put the last bit of finish on the stove before I bag them up and send them to Amazon. But I also wanted to tell you about something that's a little crafty. The bigger pieces of wood from the house construction project, anything that's in good condition, untreated of course, I'm using to make houses. So I'm gonna be treating these houses in a couple different ways. Some will just get a coat of paint like this and my daughter will add some calligraphy to it. I'm also gonna be painting some and then routing out um, milling out with the CNC, my, using my friend Chad CNC. I don't have one yet. And then the last way I'll be treating these is with some stencils that Stencil Revolution sent me. And I actually haven't opened these up yet, um, and I thought I'd do that unboxing right now. Alright, let's take a look. Got a recycling symbol, of course, which I'll use on my set. These are actually on a nice thick plastic that you can use more than once. This is the one I'll be using on the houses. Nice little home. They also sent me a Banksy one. I've got something in mind for this. And then finally I got uh, a ruler stencil where you can use these pieces to make a height measurement ruler uh, to keep track of your kids as they grow. Of course, the numbers will be spread out along the ruler, but this will be a fun project as well. All right, so there's a little look at what's going on here at Green Shores DIY and what's coming up soon. So I hope that piques your interest. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love for you to subscribe. So thanks for all the great comments and suggestions. I really appreciate all the constructive criticism, even when you're setting me straight. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share. Keep the great comments coming and we'll see you here for the next Green Shorts DIY video, most likely next Friday.